This baby hits 88 miles per hour. You're gonna see some serious shit. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got a brand new package in from the Fan Home Build Your Own DeLorean Time Machine. This is pack six, I believe, ship uh, parts 22 through 26. Uh, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure I'm correct about that. If you guys are interested in building along with me on this, I will leave a link in the description down below. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we go. Here is the box. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got inside. We got paper. Oh, looks like we got our t-shirt. Take a look at that at the end of the video. Right, here's our parts and our magazines. That looks like everything in the box. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Holy cow. Something is going on with the flux capacitor. Let's give that another shot. Holy cow, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. All right, guys, here we go with issue 22. Let's go ahead and get a look inside. Hey, here's all of our parts that we're going to be doing today. It's uh, more parts for the engine. And uh, this is all the assembly procedures here. When we get done, the engine's going to look like this. All right, we get into the production diary here. Stuff about Christopher Lloyd. And in the next issue, we'll be doing more of the engine. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first we're going to bring the motor back over that we've been working on. All right, we're going to start off with these two little parts here. This is 22B and 22A, and we're going to put this 22B on top of 22A. So we're going to put that on and push it down. There we go. It's going to look just like that. All right, now we're going to need an MM screw, and we're going to be attaching this part to the engine. Uh, there's a little peg on here that's going to go in the smaller hole, and then the bigger hole is going to go over this hole, and we're going to screw it into that hole, just like this. And we're going to screw that right into that hole right there where my thumbnail is. I'm just going to use a manual screwdriver on this since it is so small that we can get this in there. All right, screw that in until it's nice and snug, and this isn't moving around. This is metal. I should have probably put a little bit of oil on it. But anyway, it's going to look just like that. All right, guys, now we got part 22E, this rounded top one, and uh, two AP screws. And we're going to spin the engine around, and that's going to go on top of this hole here. It really goes one way. It's got a peg that goes into a hole there, and then the uh, other two holes on the sides line up. Just like that and we're going to go ahead and screw that in with the AP screws. And I'm going to start it on low though because I don't want to overdo it. This is going into plastic. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to put the other screw in in the back. All right, there we go. Gonna look just like that. All right, now we have 22D and 22C and one AP screw. And 22D is going to go on 22C. It's got a little notch right here in the front, which is going to go into this little pin here. So you just want to line it up with that notch over that pin, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to screw that in from the bottom with that AP screw. And we get that put right in there. Okay, it's going to look just like that. All right, now we're going to attach that onto uh, the part that we just put on. Okay, so we got the little peg and the hole. And the peg is going to go into this front hole here, and then we'll screw it through the other hole into the second hole there. Let's get it put on. Okay, you get it put on, it's going to look like that. You can see through to the other hole. And we're going to screw that in with an AP screw. All right, and it's gonna look just like that when it's done. And now we got 22F and 22H, and we're gonna be putting 22F onto this square part. 
I don't think it matters which way it goes as long as the holes line up underneath. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna screw that in from on the bottom with two AP screws. Okay, there's one, let's go ahead and get the other one. There we go, get them nice and snug on there. It's gonna look just like that from the bottom and like that from the top. And then we got 22i and we're gonna be placing this on, it's gonna be going this direction. And we got a little pin here that's gonna go in this hole and then this hole uh, is gonna fit in like that. Then we're gonna attach it underneath right here with an AP screw. All right, there we go. It's gonna look just like that. All right, now we got part 22J and two more of the AP screws right here. And we're gonna attach 22J on the end of the piece that we just built. And it's gonna go this way with this kind of triangle piece in the middle facing up. And it's gonna sit under just like this and it's gonna screw in from the bottom with the two AP screws. All right, let's go ahead and get one of those in right here. Here we go. Now we can go ahead and get the other one in. There we are. It's gonna look just like that. All right, now we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it on top of the motor here. And you see the guy, we got these four holes here, and that's where these are going to sit over, just like this gonna go right through the middle. And it's gonna screw into these holes on this side and on this side over here. All right, we got our four AP screws here. We're gonna go ahead and screw that in. I'm gonna start right here on this side, I think. And we're just gonna put one in right here on the bottom. Just get it lined up like that. And then we're gonna put one in on the other side. This thing's looking really impressive for something that I hear you just never see again. Again, I have this on low so that it doesn't once it gets a little resistant, it'll stop so it doesn't over tighten it and strip out the screws. We're gonna go ahead and put the two top ones in. All right, just like that. And it's gonna look like this when it's done. There we go. Now we have this pack of injector ports here. These are part 22G, and we're gonna be putting those around the top of this. We can get those dumped out here. Now these all stick in just three facing this way and three facing that way. So go ahead and see if we can get one in there. Might need tweezers for this, we'll see. Okay, they got a, a thick side and a thin side. The thick side is the side it goes in. And they should just pressure fit down in there. Push it all the way in like that. You can turn it a little bit. All right, just like that right there. And then we'll go ahead and get the other three on this side facing that way and then three on the other side facing this way. All right, when you get done, it should look like that. Okay, now we got hoses here we got to run. And there's different size hoses. I'm going to separate them kind of by length here. All right, we got three different sizes. Okay, these short ones are 22K. The medium ones are 22L. And the longest ones are 22M. All right, we're going to start with a 22K, which is the short one. We're going to go this way. And we're gonna start here on the first one. So there are three, if you can see down in there, there's one, two, and three little pins in there that these go on. So the first one's gonna go right here on the first pin. So let's get it on here first, get it down on that pin. And then I'm gonna bring it around this way and hook it to this one here. We might have to glue these on. It doesn't say to, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't say to glue them on, but I think we're gonna probably gonna need to put a little glue on these to get them to stay on. The peg in here that these go over are very short. So as soon as you get a little bit of a bend on it, they come right off. But let's, let's give it another try here, like that. That could probably stand to be a little bit shorter, actually, but that's the one that calls for us, the shortest one. All right, we're gonna spin it around and do the same thing on the other side. And the shortest one again, 22K. We can get it down on its post there, and then we're gonna bend it around and put it on the pin. All right, just like that, okay. Again, I might wanna glue these on, I might, Glue them on when I'm done here. All right, and 22L is gonna do the same thing on the mid middle to the middle and then the back to the back, so. There we go. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and do the longest one on this side, and then we'll do the other side. I'm definitely going to glue these on when I'm done. But it should look like this. Should look like that when it's done. I guess, like I said, they definitely made these a little long. I think they're longer than they need to be. And they could probably definitely be glued on. Because I don't see, I can see these popping back off. They're already coming off uh, those pins. But anyways, that is the end of stage 22. So let's go ahead and move on to stage 23. All right, here's the magazine for 23. Let's get a look inside of that. Here we go. And of course, we're going to be continuing to work on the motor here. Here's our parts. Right, we're going to be putting these pieces on here. Looks like the alternator or something here. And when they're done, it's going to look like this. Let's get on into the magazine here and close up the engine here. Yeah, this definitely looks like what we're building, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's that case of plutonium. Right, and these are the parts for the engine that we're getting next. Looks like we're getting some belts and pulleys and things. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first is we need 23D, which is this piece here, and we need the engine. I'm going to bring it around this way. And 23D is going to go uh, right on the, these two holes here and here. Just like this, it's going to sit right over these two holes and screw in right there with two AM screws. So yeah, this is going into metal, so I'm going to put a little oil on those before we screw that on. All right, I got my Liberty Oil products here, 100% synthetic lubricant, and uh, this will be available in the uh, description down below. I'll put a little bloop on those two holes there. And we got our two AM screws. We're going to go ahead and get this screwed on. Here we go. Again, it's going on these two holes right here. So let's go ahead and get one of these going. I'm not going to screw it all the way down yet. I'm going to leave it loose and go ahead and get the other one going. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this uh, on high. There we go. And let's get this all the way screwed down. There we go. It's nice and snug on there. It's going to look just like that. Okay, now we have 23C and 23B, that's these two pieces here. And we're gonna screw these together with an AP screw. We're gonna go this way around like this. We got this pin down and the hole going up, and this one just like this, and we're gonna slide those together. Houston, we, we have a problem here. Is this uh, right? This one seems to have a lot of issues, and I don't know if it's right. As you can see, you see how that's going at a real sharp angle instead of straight? Yeah, I think there's something wrong with this one. I think it was molded improperly, and you can see the little weird dents all in it from the molding process. Uh, I do believe this one is molded improperly because when I go to put it together, this should form a solid piece, but it goes on like this because of that angle is so off. I might actually have to break this piece off in the middle and then uh, glue this together. Yeah, this piece here is made wrong. So I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, fix this so that it will go together. And this piece right here, I'm sure it needs to come out straight instead of, instead of at an angle like that. Let's see what I can do with this. All right guys, I was able to use a heat gun on that and get it straighter here to where I can actually get this piece on. Uh, it's not perfect, but I believe it'll go on now and I can tighten that down with the screw and uh, get it much closer to where it needs to be. So let's go ahead and put that screw in there. All right, that's gonna look a lot better there. I think we're gonna be able to get it. This is still pretty at an angle there. I can probably use a heat gun on that too and get that straightened up a little bit. So I'm gonna see what I can do with that. All right, I think I got that a little straighter. It's not as crooked. So hopefully that's gonna work better. Okay, now we need two AP screws. And like I said, we're gonna be attaching this to this piece here uh, on either side, uh, just like this. It's gonna be going in just like that. And now it fits because I was able to heat that inside pin up and bend it enough over to get it to fit straight. So if yours comes messed up like mine did, some of these parts are a little wonky from the molding process. Just a little heat on low for a few seconds, just enough to get it to where I could bend that piece over with my pliers, and now it lines up okay. 
I mean, it's either that or contact them and get them to send you a new piece. And who knows how long that's going to take. So I would rather just fix that myself, especially for something that you're never going to see again, more than likely anyways, after this is uh, all done. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put in. I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to get a screw put right down in there. So we're getting a screw put right into this hole right here. I want to load it up here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that screwed in. All right, I don't have it tighten all the way down. So let's go ahead and move around to this other side and get another AP screw put in right there. There we go. Let's get this side tightened down now. All right, it's gonna look like this. All right, now we got a 23A here. That's uh, another bracket. And we're gonna need an AM screw to attach that on with. Yeah, and that's going right under the piece that we just put in right here. And it's gonna sit over this little notch uh, right here. So it's gonna be screwing into this hole and sitting over this notch, just like that. So we can get that screw put in. It's going into metal, so I'm gonna put a little bloop oil on there. Just like that. My screw loaded up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that screwed on. All right, it's nice and snug. Gonna look just like that. And now we got 22K, and this is the dipstick. That's pretty cool. That's gonna go this way, and it's gonna pass through the manifold and into the dipstick hole, which is hard to see, uh, but it's right in there, right there. So we're just gonna pass it through the manifold, uh, the back part of the manifold here, and put it into that hole. Again, it doesn't say to glue any of this stuff, but uh, you you could if you want to. It's not like you're ever taking that out again. And uh, you don't want it falling out and just rattling around in there later. So it might be something you might want to glue in. But anyway, it's going to look like that. All right, now we got 23E and 23F. That's these two pieces here. And here's how it shows them in the manual. Now, there's something very different about these. As you can see, these holes line up nothing like these holes. They're completely different. With these going straight up like this, they don't look anything like uh, what's shown on here. So I don't know if this is going to work right, if these are right, if they're wrong. I've had so many pieces on this that are a little off, so I'm really not sure. Um, I'm not sure how to actually attach these because they're not going to be facing the way that it shows. Uh, as you can see here in the manual, they're supposed to attach into these holes here on the transmission, but these parts are supposed to face up, and there's really no way that's going to happen. All right, guys, so after a little research on these, these are absolutely not right. These are incorrect, and they're not how these pieces are supposed to look. As you can see, this is how it's supposed to look, kind of rounded here and here. They're supposed to be at an angle, the holes, and this piece will sit flat up top. Uh, the way these are, uh, it would never work. As you can see, the holes are across the bottom. Uh, it's just the wrong piece. This piece is not this piece, and there's no way for it to go on. I'm going to have to contact Fan Home about this and uh, see if they can send me uh, the proper pieces for this because this one is wrong. But we can go ahead and continue on without these for now. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end for now of uh, issue 23. So let's go ahead and move on to issue 24. All right, here's issue 24. Let's go ahead and get a look at the magazine here. Here's our parts for this issue here. We're going to be working on pulleys and belts. And this is where they're going to be going on here on the motor. Cross our fingers that these pieces are all right. And we get done, we're going to have these pulleys and pieces all here on the front of the motor. And a little bit more here. We're going back to part one here. All right, and here's the pieces we're going to be getting in the next stage. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to start with 24C. And uh, you can tell that it's 24C by I'm kind of looking at it, but also... It is marked with a C right there. Yeah, we're gonna be putting that here on the lower part of the motor here. It's gonna go this way around like this. It's just gonna slide right over that pin right there. All right, then we got 24B, which is also marked. It has a B on it. 
and that's going to sit right over the top of that just like that and now we need 24a and that's going to go right over the top of this just like that and then we're going to screw that in with that am screw Okay, we're going to load up a screw here. I'm going to go ahead and put the screw inside of here like this. Hold the screw so we can get this on here like that. All right now we're going to go ahead and screw that in. There we go. Nice and snug. All right, it's going to look like that. And now I got 24D here, and we're going to put that right over the top peg right there, just like that. And now we got 24E and an AP screw, and that's going to go right over the top of the one we just put on. Going to go over just like this, and we're going to screw that in with the AP screw. All right, let's go ahead and get that screwed in there. All right, it's going to look just like that. And now we got 24F and 24G and one AP screw on the screwdriver there. Now that's going to go down here on the alternator that we put in right here. It's going to go this way around and it's going to sit right over the top of that pin there that we had to heat up and bend so that it would sit straight and it looks like it fits pretty good. And now this one's going to go over the top of that and then we're going to put that screw right through here. Get it in here, get this screw in. There we go. Okay, it's going to look just like this right here. With it being really bent badly and me having to heat it up and straighten those pins out, it actually turned out looking pretty good. Hopefully yours comes better than that, but uh, if it doesn't, if it comes bent, like I said, you can heat it up. All right, now we got 24H and 24I here, and we're going to take them this way, and we're going to put 24I through 24H just like that, okay? and that's going to screw into this piece here with an AP screw. So we're going to set it on top like that, and we're going to put that screw right through the top there. Can't believe I got that in. <laughs> First shot. There it goes. It's going to look like that. Okay, now we got one of the 24 J's here. These are the uh, bands, right? And one of them is going to go around these three and in the back slot uh, of this one. So around like this. That's very loose, by the way. Super loose. But anyways, the other one's going to go on here. Just like that. Actually, it goes over the back one, I think. There we go. All right, it's going to look like this. And no, these don't turn because they're tightened down. They don't spin, which is fine. It doesn't matter. You're, like I said before, you're never going to see this again uh, once it's under everything and in the car. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 24. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 25. Here we go, stage 25. Here's our parts. Again, of course, we're still going to be working on the motor. It looks like some exhaust pieces here. Here's where they're going to be attaching on at. It looks like brackets. Hopefully, they're the right brackets. There we go. We got some exhaust pieces hooking onto the manifold. When we get done, it's going to look like that. All right, we're going back part two here. This is, uh, you know, back to the future two. Something on Ronald Reagan here. And here's our parts for our next stage. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, we got 25A, which is this piece here, and two AM screws. This is going to be going on this side over here, right underneath the alternator, and it's going to be attaching to these two holes here and here. There's one peg that's going to go in this bottom hole. Okay, it's going to go in like that, and we're going to screw that in with the two AM screws. I'm sure the belt rubbing on the belt rubbing on it, that's that's fine. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get one of the screws in here. We got these lined up right. I think we do. Let's go ahead and get the other one in now. We didn't screw that all the way down. We'll tighten it the rest of the way in a minute. Get this one in. Here we are. Let's snug this one down. All right, it's going to look just like that, guys. Here we got 25B and two more AM screws. This is going to go on the front of the motor here. It's going to go this way around, and it's going to sit right over those two holes, just like that, and screw on with those two AM screws. All right, this is one of those cases where it'd be cool to have three hands, but I only got two. So we're going to try to make this work. We just need to get one going. There we go. Let's see if we can get one in here. There we are. Now we can get the other one in, and then we'll tighten them down. 
There you go, nice and snug. Okay, it's gonna look just like that. All right, now we got a 25C, this piece here, and we need two NM screws. We got them right here. And right, this piece is gonna go right across the front like this, over these two brackets here, just like that, and screw into these two holes like that. Get this other one in. Put a little oil right on the screw. Get this other side on. See how much easier that goes in with a little bit of oil. This one over here is struggling. There we go. Now it's tight. It'll look just like that. All right, so now we got a 25E and 25D. And that's going to sit right in this groove just like this. And we're going to screw that together with an AP screw. All right, we got our AP screw here. Let's go ahead and get that put in there and screw it down. Okay, gonna look just like that. Okay, now we're gonna attach this to the motor. It's gonna go this way. It's gonna go over the back of the motor like this, and this part is gonna connect onto this manifold here, just like that. And we're gonna screw that in with an AP screw. Yeah, we got it most of the way on there. Now we're going to go ahead and put this one on. It's going to sit on this side of the manifold like that. And we're going to go ahead and put an AP screw in that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and tighten this side all the way down. Okay, it's going to look just like that. All right, that's the end of stage 25. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 26. All oh, right, here's stage 26. Let's go ahead and get a look inside. And here is our parts again. And they are, it looks like the muffler. And I guess we're supposed to be putting this into the chassis, but I can't connect it in yet because I don't have these proper uh, mounts here on the transmission. So we'll do what we can on this. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to contact Fan Home about getting those proper pieces. And I'm gonna have to leave the drive shafts here off as well, because uh, I can't really do that until I get the mount put in. Right, uh, part three, we're going back. This is for the uh, Back to the Future part two. Steven Spielberg stuff here, and here's our pieces we're gonna be getting next. It looks like the fan shroud and fans, and more, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got 26A here, and we got 26C, one of these uh, bent pipe pieces here. Okay, going this way around, this one's gonna go in right here. It only goes one way, it's like a half circle shape. Gonna sit right in there like that. And we're gonna screw that in from the other side, right here, with an AP screw. All right, let's go ahead and get that, see if we can get that screwed in. See if we can get it a little tighter. About as tight as that's gonna get right there. That's gonna look like that. And now we're gonna put one on the exact other side in the same way, just like that. Okay. And now we got both sides on. There we go. All right, now we got 21B. This is the back cover. And we're gonna put that on over just like this. And we're gonna screw that in here and here with two FP screws. There's one, let's get the other one in. There we go, guys, it's gonna look just like that. And we got a muffler. You know, we're gonna hook this into the back on the exhaust pipe here and on this bracket right here. So it's going to go into that hole, and then this is going to go into this hole, right, like that. And then on the other side, it's going to line up on this bracket over here. Yeah, on this side here, it's going to need an AM screw, so let's go ahead and put an AM screw in there. Just like that. I'm sorry, an AP screw, not an AM screw. Okay, now on the other side here, it's going to need an AM screw, because it's going in the middle. I'm going to screw that in. Just like that. Now that's nice and secure on there. Okay, now we have 26D, that's this piece right here. And that's gonna be going on this side here. And it's gonna be connecting the muffler to this bracket. The little uh, pipe part here is gonna be going into the bracket. And then this pin on this flat piece is going into the muffler. Just get those lined up and get it pushed on. All right, just like that. Okay, and that fits pretty tight, but you could glue it if you wanted to. 
All right, guys, we're at the point now where you're supposed to put this into the frame of the car, but I can't do that because I don't have these proper brackets. Again, they gave me the wrong brackets here. Uh, so until I get the proper brackets, uh, I'm going to have to hold off on finishing this stage. So I'll have to finish this stage uh, when they get that into me. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame, man. I wish I could go ahead and finish it up, but I can't. So that's going to be the end for now of stage 26 and uh, the end of box six. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. All right, guys, that is the end again, like I said, of box six. Until I get these proper brackets right here, they sent the wrong ones. I'm going to have to contact them and have them send me the right brackets for that. And then we can uh, go ahead and get this mounted into the frame, which I wish I could have done this time. But I had a few different issues with this uh, model pack, which is just something that happens from time to time. Uh, here is the engine, at least, pretty much done we got all the belts and the pulleys and everything on there there's the exhaust system uh running all the way around the engine we've got the spark plug wires in there uh looks great looks fantastic i just wish they would have sent me the right parts for the mounting brackets on the transmission uh but you know it happens happens to everybody right so let me go ahead and show you guys the shirt that came with it here we go I don't know what size they sent probably not my size uh, but uh, I will get into it because I'm actually losing weight right now. So here is the shirt. That is cool looking, huh? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I like that. And that is really neat. And uh, blue, too. I like blue. But yeah, that's the shirt, guys. If you ever wanted to actually see the shirt in person that you get with this, unless they change it sometimes, I don't know. But uh, anyways, guys, I really am enjoying this build, uh, even with the issues from here and there that I'm having with it. I'm enjoying this build. And uh can't wait to continue building it, and I can't wait till I can see this completed, like I always say. But uh hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and then stroll on over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See? Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.